Ready? Good morning! Hiya! Vintage tea party time. We just thought we'd get it started early. I've got this lovely teapot that a friend once gave me, which actually does get used every single day um, because I like to save on washing up and not get new mugs out. So yeah, I'll put that away now because it's kind of in the way, but I thought that you'd like to see. So yeah, I'm uh, Gemma. Um, some, some of you will have met me before. Let me just change it to comments and see if anyone's there joining us. And this is Ella. Hi, Ella. Ella uh, works for me part time, but I'd say it's more like full time. Yeah. Yeah, I keep, time. I keep robbing her time, and I'm <laughs> gutted that she's going to go back to uni in October and probably then want to do part time. And I'll, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll think, we'll think about that another time. But she's an amazing <laughs> sewer. So she's agreed to help me today, very reluctantly. Yeah, yeah, I bet you know you're excited yeah, um, to exciting. make some bunting. We've made bunting with kids, haven't we? Yeah, only one could do it. Yes. So, um, so yeah, so we just thought we'd come and show you. We have in the studio this kind of like, um, I always think it looks a bit like teeth. It's a bit, a bit random, but I, I quite like it. And then I'll, that involves a sewing machine. And then I'll also show you how to make, this is a bit twisted, but like a kind of easy no-sew one, which is also great for doing with kids um, over the summer holidays. Hi, Jane, thanks for joining us. So yes, let's start making some bunting. Yeah, do let us know um, any questions as we go along. And um, today I'm gonna be using a fat quarter. Uh, for those who don't know what a fat quarter is, it's those little bundles of fabric that you often see in like Hobbycraft and Aldi, etc. Oh, bless you, you're, you're in the logo. Shall we move on for a bit? Am I? Oh, <laughs> yeah. there we go. I, I don't know. If I... There you go. Yes, you're okay. back. Cool. Um, these little fat quarters, um, you also see them in Aldi quite a lot. They're probably the best value that you'll find them for. And they're good for doing this very good bulk cutting, and they also come in like nice small patterns. The only thing you'd have to be aware of if you were doing this, this the way I'm about to show you is that some patterns would then end up upside down, wouldn't they? Ah, uh, yeah. If you did this sort of cutting. Yeah, yeah so it's very yeah. economical. But if you could, so if you were going to go out and specifically buy fabric, have a little look through the pack and see if you can find a pack like this one, like these stars and this rainbow. It doesn't matter if they're upside down. So that's perfect, just a, like a random pattern. And um, otherwise, it's a really good use of just scraps of fabric. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm showing exactly. you this way, just so that you can make them really quickly. But if you've got time, you can just sit watching a film with a single triangle in front of you. A big bunch of scraps of fabric and you can start cutting away. So cutting the triangles themselves is totally up to you basically. Whatever size you draw your pattern it's going to end up being about a centimetre smaller on each side. I've done a few different patterns here using a fat quarter and um, if you fold it in half, okay the length of a fat quarter is 56 centimetres and the length is 50 so as it is there it's 56 by 25. So I did a bit of maths, I divided that up into three and then I drew that pattern there all right so huge bunting you would end up a bit smaller but depending if you're doing a marquee a massive wedding or something you might want the bunting to be a little bit bigger so then I would just place that on top and start cutting out those lines and um, if you wanted to do the one like I've got behind me can you see it's the same um, width so it's the 56 divided by three, which is about 18 centimeters, I think. And then I've just done these little triangles going up, or you could do the triangles going down and make that kind of uh, flag sort of shape. All right, so that's the option if you wanted huge bunting. You can repeat those patterns. The way what I'm gonna do today is more of a, like a standard size bunting, and that would be folding a fat quarter into three. Okay, so I'm getting my piece of fabric, Probably could do it more accurately, but I'm just going to fold it what looks like a third. Is that right? Yeah. You that? You're like me, aren't you? Just Not like that. Accurate, yeah. <laughs> no, we like to just <laughs> speed. By eye. Yeah. So there you go. I'm quite happy that that's folded into three pieces. I'm then going to take my pattern. So again, I just got a piece of brown paper. I I decided to divide it by one, two. Four, divide it by four. So I've got, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, triangles from every single piece of, um, well, not seven. How many are there? 21. Oh. oh, thanks. You know, I that up into you. Thanks, that would be great. Okay. All right, so just going to do some very simple pinning to get it all on. It's probably just one per triangle. And yeah, I'm going to have 21 squares from this. Uh, 
which I guess isn't a very good amount for. I need an even amount, don't I? But yeah. th therefore, I'll have to do another piece of fabric. I'm actually thinking of using this bunting for my boyfriend's camper van. He won't be that impressed. He'll be he'll roll his eyes like all the other pretty things that I put inside there. Lark part two yeah. in the van. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're in the studio today. We've got Wi-Fi. <laughs> I've been telling it's these been guys. A long time coming. Yeah. So I've always been in my house before. Um, but this time, I should this is, yeah. yeah, this is great. Wow. Um, but yeah, finally, three and a half months after I first signed up, I got Wi-Fi yesterday, which was amazing. I've also got a, quite a lot of credit due from all the missed appointments. Um, so yeah, but I was hoping to do a tour of the studio for you guys, but it's just such a mess, isn't it? We're too ashamed. We're yeah. too embarrassed. So I'm thinking of doing one about one o'clock as a bit of a challenge then to um, get tidied up. But that'll be over on my like Facebook and Instagram for like Lark Design Make, and that'll be there forever. So if you do follow us, you can have a little look around the mm -hmm. lovely space here. Got a new sewing room. Yes, yeah, that's it's great having Ella here because she's like finally sorted out. So should I take half of them and then yeah. leave you leave you be? <laughs> it's a left-handed, right-handed thing. Oh yeah, have you got the right scissors? You're yeah, okay, fine. So you'll notice there is a tiny bit of waste. There's these little bits, but apart from that, you're gonna have 21 um, triangles from one fat quarter in a moment. And then you obviously where they folded, you're just gonna have to cut along those fold lines as well. Yeah, you do have to actually. Yeah, you do have to, don't you? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's see if any is anyone planning on having a tea party or anyone got a nice excuse for making the bunting? Maybe a, 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 a cancelled wedding is finally happening, right? Yeah, there you go. So I'll carry on working on these. So basically, you just and of course, you can mix and match your fabrics if you're cutting lots of different colors and pieces, you can have a different color on the front and the back, but for now. For this demonstration, I'll just do the same. So I'm just putting the, the the good side, the beautiful side, facing in, and then again, I'm just going to take a pin and pop that a couple of pins inside. One and two, and then I'm going to pass it to Ella, who's going to be doing some sewing. She's just going to be sewing the triangle part only. We don't need to sew this one because we need to turn it inside out and also because um we're we're going to cover it later with a little bit of binding so there's no there's no need to do that bit so i'll give you a few you. and then you can carry on with those whilst i go on to the felt bunting we are so exactly. efficient i know we were so efficient yesterday we're very proud of ourselves aren't we, we had a great day yesterday. yeah we did kids club and we split the group in half which we've never done before we've always taught them in a group of 10 which you know i used to be a teacher so 10 should be fine, but it always just felt mad. Yeah. And yesterday we had two groups of five each and then we swapped. We were in uh, shock because we were like, why have we never done this? Before? Yeah. <laughs> and it was just so lovely. It was just so relaxing. Is my evening sorted. That will be over the moon. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's what I was talking about earlier. You could make a triangle like that and just use that to do that on various scraps of fabric. So there's mine. All right, so 20, 21 triangles in what we are in a few minutes. See if anyone else is there. Lots of people saying hi. No questions yet, but that's it's good to know that you're all there. This is Ella's first live experience. I know. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. Like the pressure of sewing. Like, good training. <laughs> All right. So I'll just turn this one inside out whilst Ella does another. Trim it a bit. So you don't, yeah, you, you can trim it a tiny bit along the edges just so it's not so bulky when you turn it inside out. And then obviously this is a very sharp corner here, so it can end up getting quite bulky. So you can also just give that a little bit of a snip so that there's less bulk at the end, so I do a tiny trim. 
You could also use maybe some pinking shears if you had them. Cool. I know, it's all right. I got a loud voice. <laughs> and then we're just going to turn them inside out like so. And I use something like a crochet hook or a chopstick would work. And you just want to push out that corner without um, breaking it, obviously, just so you get your nice kind of triangle. All right, so it still ends up quite small, but I think it's quite a cute mm -hmm. size for camper van. So don't be afraid of this size triangle. Even though it looks huge on this piece of paper, it would actually end up being quite a, a reasonable size if you were using it for a large space. Yeah, it's nice, busy. isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, it looks so perfect for the van. Going quick for the second one. No pressure. <laughs> And again, you could do these by hand, but it would be quite a quite a long task, wouldn't it? We don't like hand sewing. No, we don't like that hand much. sewing. So, would you mind giving that a press for me? Yeah, no oh. Another cow. There might be a shot. Oh wow! Well. I guess you all hopefully know how to iron. I can take you over. I would take you over, but it's again too embarrassing that side of the room. It will be fine. Maybe you should yeah. be a bit later, later than one. <laughs> the clock is ticking. Yes. <laughs> one -ish. Two. Two, maybe. We'll do a tour oh. of the new studio because we're really happy with how it looks at the moment, apart from the mess. There it's mess for a good reason. Yes. This keeps leaking. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, it's because the cap's gone. Yeah, I know. It's falling apart, that iron. Sorry. Okay, and then you're going to need some binding. Okay, I've tried doing it with thinner binding and it is really quite difficult. So the thickest you can get from memory, I think this is 40 mil, um, so or maybe 38 mil. It's, it's quite long. I buy huge rolls of it, which makes life a bit easier, but I have seen it in Dunelm and other haberdashery stores. It can, it can be about a pound a metre, but if you're just doing a small space, that should hopefully be okay. Um, otherwise, maybe have a little look online if you're looking for a bigger space. And then also, would you mind, sorry, just doing a tiny bit more ironing? Yeah. So we're just going to iron this in half. These are the sorts of preparation things that it's really easy to avoid, isn't it? Mm. But it does make a big difference of ironing in half. It saves yourself time. Yeah, it will end, the product will end up looking so much nicer. And um, you will ultimately save a bit of time because you won't have to kind of pin it so securely. So these are all ready. I've got two little ones ready, and I'm just going to put it on. I'm not going to cut this because I'm going to keep going after this video and turn it into a longer piece of bunting. It's lovely, isn't it? It looks so cute. I like the colours. This corner's a little bit soft. Let's see if I can just sharpen it up a bit. There you go. All right, and then I'll just run through the felt one. That's you know totally suitable for adults, um, but also a re it's really good. We've had huge success with that with doing it with kids. All right, so what we're going to do, I, I would leave a good 30 centimetres at least at the end because you obviously probably need to knot it somewhere in your house or for me in the van. I so I'm just going to leave. End. Oh, yes, yeah. turn a bit more end. <laughs> this is good, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't think of that, sorry. It's all right. I'll just chat away a bit more. <sighs> tell me some Tell me some things. Is it raining where you are? It's pretty miserable today. It was lovely yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. And then today it's raining, so oh well. My, right. my garden of water, so yeah. I don't have to. Got to tidy up here anyway. Yes, yeah, and it's, it's a good day to, for cleaning. That's that's a very good excuse. Mm -hmm. Doing some more sewing, making some demos. Yes, yeah, Ella's going to be doing some de uh, demo models today because she's actually going to teach by herself on, in September, aren't you? So approach him. Yeah, approach him. So we just need to just whip up the the models of all the things so yeah do let us know we're i always find it quite hard to keep coming up with oh by the way i've got blue hands because we did blue dye yesterday um and <laughs> um, i'm finding it quite hard to keep coming up with great ideas for virtual village hall and i love doing them so if you have got any ideas of anything you think the two of us could do she could do then let me know so all i'm doing now is i'm just popping the uh, top of the bunting inside the folded binding I don't know what it's just called, cotton tape, or it's not binding actually, is it? It's not bias binding, I don't know. Yeah. I would just call it like 
you find it like in curtain heavy, sections. Heavy duty ribbon. Yeah, That's so, some people put them right next to each other, so it's kind of non-stop. I'm a little mm. bit, I like to spread them out a little bit, one because you can get a lot further. Yeah. I might put these quite close together actually, because for the van, it's such a small mm. space that I think actually you could get away with a few more. So I'll pop it like that. The green is an exact match. I know. I it's like you thought it through. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So all I did there, let's see the pins. I just pinned them into the folded tape. If you wouldn't mind getting that started yeah, with the right. sewing. And then, like I said, we'll stop at the end and then I'll carry on mm -hmm. when maybe when I finish tidying, doing the do rest you, of do them. Do you want green to match it? Oh, maybe. Do you want to yeah. go and get green? Well, so I'll start with that one. Yeah. Okay. Ella's gone to get some green thread because she's right. That would bug me every day otherwise when I'm, yeah. yeah, when I've got nothing else to think about in the camper van. Right. So here we go. Let's do um some um bunting using felt okay so this one looks a bit funny now but honestly when it is hung up it looks lovely nice and bright oh, get this one straight this is like a demo model that we made with the kids hopefully you can get the idea sorry it's all kind of tangled up a bit but it does look nice hung up we've done again it in all sorts of sizes we did it for valentine's for, with some kids in, in like heart shapes we did it at easter um, um with kids we're on easter ribbon with little easter shapes so it's really versatile so first thing you need is a bit of felt you need some sort of like darning needle you need some sort of ribbon or string maybe a pin and i'm looking for my pattern it doesn't really matter i can make another but i did have a oh here we go and a little heart pattern i'm going to do for you today all right so the, the other good thing because you're not sewing you can be a little bit you can choose maybe some slightly more difficult shapes so all you're going to do is you're just going to place your pattern onto your felt. And again, felt is so easy to get hold of. Often see it in the crafty aisle of Asda or Home Bargains or all those sort of shops. And then you're just pinning your pattern once you've decided what shape you want onto the felt and cutting it out. Felt should be able to be cut with all sorts of household scissors. I'm using fabric scissors here. But if you don't have any, it's actually pretty easy to cut with everything. And obviously, because it doesn't fray, it means that you can just literally cut it and leave the edges, which is very handy for all those without sewing machine. You're going to change the oven as well. Oh, she's going professional. Done, yeah, well, I'm going to have to finish the bunting now. You've changed it all to green, aren't I? No. So there you go. I've got my little felt heart. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the top corner and I'm just going to do a little snip in it. Again, if you're doing it with kids, you may want to just do a little pencil mark so they don't make a mistake. But I'm just kind of guessing. I've just done a tiny little snip there and a tiny little snip there. And then you may have noticed the ones that I've done previously. We've added all sorts of ribbon and pom-poms and buttons and all sorts of things that you might have in your crafty supplies. Or it looks really nice as it comes. And then... I've got a nice version of this actually in my house, in my front window from uh, lockdown time um, in rainbow colours. It looks really nice, so I've just left it there. So I just thread on some string, wool, ribbon again, whatever you have at home. You don't need to go out shopping really. And you're just going to go in through one side and then back out through the other side like so. And then you just continue. You would then add another heart, another or whatever shape that you wanted, little triangles for actual bunting. And it's kind of ready to go and looks really nice in the window. Lots of kids have put it on their like heads of their beds that we've done in craft club and things. So yeah, just really simple, really hopefully easy and would make your vintage tea party look really nice. So we have the green thread, so We're just about... in time. Look at us go. That I know. Wow. So yeah, Ella's just literally, so when she's got the folded up, folded line, she's just going to sew quite very close to where they they mm. meet is the important thing, isn't it? So the, the, the ironing before. The is, ironing helps. And this is quite difference. thick, so it doesn't make it hard. Yeah. There you go, so a little bit of start and reverse at the end. So she's sewing all of it, even that 30 centimetres at the beginning. So it's important that that's the same width that does open up. And off she goes. Oh, I wonder where Gwen is. Whoa. She normally uh, pot 
pottering around. That's my dog, by the way. And she's being a bit shy. Aww. If not, we'll find her for the studio tour. Yes, I should definitely be in that. She runs this place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> Cool, and then yeah, I, I can see what you're finding is some of the triangles, they, they have a bit of a mind of their own. So if, if you are a new sewer, you, you may want to put more than one pin in each one. I've just put one and then we're kind of editing as we go, aren't we? Yeah. But I think actually if, mm. if you're a newer sewer, you might not be so confident to do that mm. as you go. It's so tempting maybe, to go really fast on the straight line, but then you might miss your triangles. So. Yes, you've got to make sure you get the top and bottom. So show. make sure they're they're slotted in really nicely. So yeah, let us know. Is anyone going to have a little go at making some bunting? I get asked quite a lot to offer it as a workshop, but I almost feel like it's too easy. Yeah, maybe this angle. Yeah. Anyone? Here we go. I think we're at the end. We'll have to just display the, the two-piece bunting for now. Like I said, soon it will be a, a ten-piece bunting. Oh, I love it. Ta-da! There you go. Cool, ready for our vintage tea party. Get my, my tea out back out. Thank you. <laughs> and my so, yeah, so thanks for coming to watch today. I hope you all have um, a lovely day and the weather brightens up a bit. And as always, we always check the comments every few days. So, do keep like let us know a couple of things. One, if you make any, send us a picture of it. And two, if you have any ideas for any future um crafts that you'd like us to demonstrate because we're that's what we do yeah the dream team how's your first life all right. it was great yeah enjoyed it something. yeah <laughs> let me know if i was all right yes <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we'll uh, hopefully see you soon and have a good day bye, bye. thanks amanda bye <laughs>